allow students to see the type of things that engineers do and to explain to them the wide variety that is available within the engineering industry. Also giving them an opportunity to have um, work placements at different engineering organisations. I remember being 14 and I've been asked exactly what I was going to do when I was um, as a career and it's difficult, to, it's difficult to make decisions at that age. It's even important just, just to plan. And, and, to have, and have a strategy, have a personal vision about what you want to do. I find it really inspiring and really motivating. Engineering is like making things we use on a day-to-day -day basis. There's a couple of kids who really reacted very well and some weren't very sure they wanted to do engineering and after a while they, they saw what the opportunities were and how it covers a lot of things. And getting kids involved in engineering, especially with the rich heritage that the UK has, yeah, that's something I want them to carry forward. It was given a scenario to um, make a bridge, I guess it's like to experience structural engineering and we had to make sure that the bridge would be made out of like, the most cheapest materials as possible but yet yeah, can hold um, lots of weight and it's like a flying bridge so there must, it mustn't drop on oh, the cars and it will get crushed. We've been to six schools over the course of the programme. We started in May and we had different activities in different schools and we picked uh, students based on the ones that showed an interest in engineering and excelled at the activities that we organised at the schools. I'd like to be a civil engineering teacher or just a civil engineer. They offer them um, a world placement of work experience and engineering which is what I like. Last year we had six students go to Mighty as well. Um, my team manages the assets at Victoria Station, they went to Royal Opera House and it's just opening up a world that they wouldn't have imagined to them, giving them the opportunities to meet senior managers, senior directors that they wouldn't have met, giving them the contact so that they can stay in touch with these people and possibly actually consider careers in these industries that people don't consider as the most prestigious. I will be always try to help wherever I can because um, I remember back when I was in school, um, I wish that there was someone coming around as well just to, you know, give us a bit of inspiration, talk to us about the part of the career. After the interviews, they've come out and they're so confident. And before that, they, some of them were saying, oh, I'm not really sure I'm ready for this and this sort of thing. So for me, this is actually giving them an opportunity to show that they can achieve and you know, no better way than to actually have a real experience. The questions that they asked were mainly about myself and how I feel about myself and strengths and weaknesses. But she came from like a very confident level, you know, like some interviews they can be quite scary, like straightforward. She wasn't like informal or formal, she was just like friendly. Something like, like what I have to say to the interview, straight to the question. I think I've just learned some of the useful skills for the future form. So it's always good to get an interview experience. We got uh, five minutes to speak to different um, engineers. It's helped me to understand engineering more and the different aspects of engineering and what you can actually do in engineering, how engineering is like in everything. For us it was important to show that you don't have to actually go to uni to work, to work in engineering. You can take different routes into engineering and you can achieve as much as anybody else. I'm Patricia Tawine. I work for an engineering company and always do environmental engineering but not an engineer by trade. Uh, I'm Matthew Wall. I'm a project engineer. I'm the Tunnel Tunnel Project down in Paddington. I actually job for university, uh, did a master's and then part of that was looking at flood risk. I think I was just hoping to inspire them about engineering but not necessarily the usual routes. Hopefully give them some tips that they can use in terms of trying to find a job and just open them up to this world that we're involved in. I suppose the main thing was to keep their options open. You can, a lot of them are very focused on I want to be mechanical, biological engineer or something very focused and it's more that's really good, but equally take the opportunity as doing the engineering studies to see the other aspects. There's a lot of other things you can get involved in. So yeah, have the focus, but also have a general understanding. Um, engineering is a great profession, and I think more people need to know about it. It's an open world, 